So let's talk about context menu. Context menu are basically uh, right-click menus. Um, Chrome actually gives us an option to um, add some of the functionality when you right-click on something. So for example, if I select this and use one of the context menus here, uh, Word Counter Plus, it'll actually show me how many word counts are there. So it's 31, character count, average count, and uh, longest word count. <laughs> so all this information is being transferred over from Chrome to the back end using context menu. So how do we install context menus, right? Um, first thing is we need permission. So if I go here and paste it, we give it a permission uh, right here, context menu, so menus. And now let's go ahead and look in our uh, in our background JS where we can add our context menu uh, for it to work in the background. All right, so let's go ahead and start from here. So I'm gonna say Chrome dot, and let's look at functions first. So it gives us create, remove, remove all, and update. And I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see. And let's go ahead and create one. So right here. And this is the one. So Chrome, let's uh, do this so we can see the commands and context. Menus dot create. And then let's go ahead and create this function. Now, what it needs, it, it needs an ID. So I'm going to say context, uh, my context menu. The next thing it requires is the title. And the last thing is it requires the context. Which context do you want it to work on? So um, say the page, if I come back here and say page, and we can see the page property. The different context menus can appear in specifying all. So if I just say all here, and all, now you can see um, it's gonna appear everywhere. So if I um, go ahead and refresh this, so let me just do that. Chrome, and right here, there's an error. Let's go ahead and clear that, refresh. And now we can see uh, my context menu here. So now um, we can select which areas uh, we want to do. So say if I just want to have selection or I want um, the extension to work on the frame, we can give our options. Even um, it works under browser action. If you remember a couple of videos down, I showed what browser actions were, uh, page action or um, action by itself. So I'm going to add this all. You can create multiple um, context menus. So I can say a context menu one and then space one, and I can create another one. So let's do another one, context menu two, and then two. So now if I refresh our extension here, and I'm gonna say right click, you will see there's a menu and a sub menu now. You have the main extension, then you have the, 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 the first one and the second one. You can create these menus as many, uh, as many as you would like, but they'll all consolidate under one, under your extension, which is uh, your my extension. Right. Let's take a look at the event that it gives us, which is on clicked. Right. So I'm just simply going to paste it here because I pre-written this one, and then you can call on clicked at a listener, and then um, it gives us uh, information. So if I click on here, so it'll give us the information of that click and the tab ID. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, console log the info and the tab. And this one, because we're not sending any messages, we just can console log everything. Right. So if I refresh here again and say let's select something so fired when the context menu is clicked but we need uh, the background so if i come back here and right click extension and then see now we see um, from the context what it uh, what we received so if i zoom in here you guys can see uh, there's edit table false uh, frame id uh, context menu id which was where it was the first one the second thing, it gave us the page URL, the selection text, which we can manipulate if you would like. Uh, we can run any functions on it. We can do anything with it. Also, it also gives us, uh, that that was the info, and this was from the tab. It'll tell you which tab it came from, um, all the URL stuff that you require, and maybe um, something that is important if you're designing something for your um, Chrome extension, you can use that here. Let's look at the next thing, which is um, right here. Let's go back up here. and. The next thing is the remove and remove all. So I won't do the up, uh, uh, the update, I'll just do remove, because uh, I think these two are important. And how you're gonna use this, I'm not sure, um, but you can actually create here. So you can say, let's do, let's delete this and say remove. And here, it requires an ID, so we just have to give this an ID here. So uh, let's see if I can do ID, it requires, context and it also gives us the callback so if I come back here if you want to do something on the callback uh, which is right here you can do that but here it requires only the ID so if I save this and refresh our extension come back here and 
actually it's just the ID so come back here refresh and you see that you saw the error too right uh, refresh here and now you see there's only one menu the other one got removed so that's the context menu and you can create anything in the background JS uh, any functions that you would like to run in the background you can use this in order to create um, in order to use the context menu I hope uh, I'm going in the right direction by explaining each and every API that's important and once you start understanding or, or getting a good grasp of it you'll understand where which API will plug where in order to do something so I hope you enjoyed this video hit that like button Please subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I'll see you in the next one.